Hello everyone, welcome to BI Consulting Pro. In today's video, we are going to discuss about parent and child functions. There are mainly five types of parent and child X functions. We will go through each of them one by one and at last you would be able to see data something like this. Here you can see that at last starting from the path function, I have created five different columns using parent and child functions and these functions are very important in your organization whenever you want to find a hierarchy or you want to get to know how many levels above the manager is there for a particular employee or if you want to also calculate the number of levels between an employee and a manager. So enough all the talking, let's get started. provides five functions to help users manage data that is presented as a parent-child hierarchy in their models. So the very first function we are going to discuss is the path function which is going to return a delimited text string with the identifiers for all the parents of the current hierarchy. This means we have to just write a syntax. We have to use the path which is our text function then your ID column for example your employee ID and its parent column. Parent column would be the manager's column so in our case would be the manager ID and then we can get it. So we will get how the hierarchy is varying like whose manager is who. The second one would be the path contains which is going to return true if the specified item exist within the specified path which means suppose you want to find a manager id into your path so you want to make sure whether this manager exists for this particular employee or not or in this particular path or not then we can find it using this path contains dax function the third one is the path item it returns the item at the specified position from a string resulting from the evaluation of a path function in, again, in simple words, it would help you to give you at which level is what employees over there. So I'm going to show you in the demo how to use this as well. Another one is the path reverse. It's just like in the path item, you have to go from left to right. And in path reverse, you can come from right to left. That's the only difference between these two. And last one is the path length, which is going to return the number of parents to the specified item in a given path result, including self. That means how many levels are there in this particular hierarchy. So guys, let's get to the demo part and see how these functions actually works. So here, let me first show you my table. So this is my sample data which I created myself and I didn't take it from anywhere. So you can also create yourself. Here my first column is the employee ID, second is the employee name, third is the manager ID. And as you can see that 112 over here, he doesn't have any manager, but he is a manager himself. And he's at the topmost level. And again, if you will see 14, 14 has a 112 manager ID and his manager name is Brian as the employee name is Brian. So there are some employees who are manager himself. So that's how this data is over here. And we are going to utilize our parent and child functions over there to see how we can get the different level of employees or how we can get to know how many levels are existing in this hierarchy. So let's start it with the very first one, which is our path dex function and see how does actually it works? So for that, I have to create a new column. And in this new column, I'm going to give it a name path function just to demonstrate. And here we can call our dex function, which is path. And you can clearly see that it's in text is over here, ID column name and the parent column name. ID column name over here is our employee ID and parent is the manager ID. So let me write it over here, employee ID and then my manager id so i have selected hit enter and now you would see it has populated all the hierarchies so you can see that the very first is the 112 which is manager itself so he's at the topmost level then 
again in the second one 112 then 14 that means 112 is the manager of 14 and 14 is Julio so Brian is the manager of Julio and so on if I'll see the bottom most uh, level over here it's saying the 81 81 is Aries Aries manager is 162 which is 162 is Barry and Barry's manager is Linda Linda's uh, uh, then we have Julio and Julio's manager is Brian so Brian is a top at the hierarchy so this is basically gonna show you how you can see the hierarchy into your organization if you have your employee IDs and their manager IDs and this is going to be very helpful uh, and in certain times interviews also people are going to ask you questions okay you have this manager data employee data and now you need to get to know whose manager is who so you can get it from there easily now the second comes the path contains dex function so this function returns true if the specified item exists within the specified path for that we have to again create a new column over here i'm going to give it a name path contains function and here i can write path contains now you will see it's uh, basically its syntax is path and item so which item we need to find means which uh, employee id or the parent id we are looking for so instead of path i can now use my column which i already created which is my path function I don't need to write the code again for the same and then I can write my employee ID so which I really want to find so let's say in our case we are looking for number three and hit enter and now you say it's gonna say um, whether this employee ID is existing in this path function or not so if it exists it's going to say true if it doesn't it's going to say false for path function always remember that the employee id or your parent id which is over here the manager id their data type should be same and their data type can only be either text or integer it cannot be anything else otherwise this function is not going to work let's move forward and now we are going to discuss the path item as i mentioned earlier it returns the item at the specified position from a string resulting from the evaluation of a path function positions are counted from left to right so let's take this one again i'm going to create a new column path item function and here we'll say path item and again we are going to use the path column that I created instead of writing the decks again and here we can give the position like at which position you want to find out who's there so for that I can just say I want to find out at position 4 and there is an optional parameter which is a type so type is an numeration that defines the data type of the result for here you can take it 0 for text and for integer one but here i'm not going to define it because i don't need it it's just optional one if you need it you can do that and here you will get it so if i'll go from left to right then on number fourth position including the first itself it's going to give you the value so let's talk about this one over here you will see the first is 112 second is 14 and third is 3 so according to my uh, dex function that I just wrote, I want to see what is at number 4. So number 4 is 11, it's there. Number 4 over here is 13, so it's there. Number 4 in this one, if I'll say, because there are number uh, total number of 5 items, so number 4 is 162. So you will get it over here. So for the path item reverse, it's just gonna count from right to left rather than left to right. So for that we can again write... Uh, code for the new column and let's say path item reverse function so i'm gonna write path item reverse my path function again 
which is my called the very first column that we have created and after that we have to give the position so let's say this time position 3 and type we are not going to take it because we have an optional one so if you will now count the path function from right to left at the number 3 you will find these ids for example let's say the last one so here right is the first then uh, 162 is second and then third is third so like that you will get who is from right to left and if you need to go from left to right then you will simply use the path item dex function now comes to the last one which is our path length one so we are going to use this one to returns the number of parents to the specified item in a given path result including self that means how many levels exist in a particular path if you want to check the hierarchy levels between you and your manager then you can use this text function and it's a very practical example so let's create this i'm going to create a new column i'm going to say it path length function and here i can use again this text function path length and i need to provide again just the path function so i can use my path column name the very first that i have created and hit enter so it's gonna tell you how many levels are there so if i'll talk about the brian who is the topmost manager in this hierarchy he has no manager so definitely he has only one level so his own level then if i'll talk about julio julio's manager is brian so definitely there are two so over you can see two but if i come to the last one which is employee id 81 for aries she has five levels that means brian is five level above to her including herself so that's how we can use this parent and child functions to get to know about hierarchy in your organization or any data that you are working on or you need to get to know who exists in this path or not for example if i'll say i want to check whether my friend is gonna exist in particular hierarchy or not and i know his employee id so i can put it over there and i can check it out please let me know guys if you have any question and concerns and i would be happy to help you out and don't forget to subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for the latest updates